Yeah. Uh, yes, good afternoon, uh, Joel. Yeah, good afternoon, Alicia. Now, can you tell me about uh, LACODEV and uh, what it does? Oh, LACODEV, yeah, is good. At least you know the abbreviation as LACODEV. Most yeah. people don't know the abbreviation, but it stands for Language Child and Community Development Federation, yeah. uh, a local uh, NGO here in Uganda operating um, in northern Uganda. And our programs are basically in the Lango sub-region and covering four districts, that is Lera, Kole, Apache, and Dokolo districts. Yeah. So you work with the students and schools, or uh, who are your target uh, uh, beneficiaries? Yeah, it, it clearly depends on the programs. We have five programs, and uh, children, as it also came in the name, Lango Child, uh, children are our target groups and uh, in all the projects, education, health, livelihood and sponsorship, uh, children are our really target group. All the programs we do, we ensure that we want to ensure that children are really benefiting and is really having a change in the life of children that uh, we support. Okay, that's uh, great. Yeah. And uh, how, uh, how do you use ICTs uh, in these projects? Yeah, uh, we have come into partnership with Connect for Change this uh, year, 2013, and they are supporting us in our education project. We have uh, we developed a project on, uh, co we are calling it uh, ICT for Community Empowerment in Education. This is a project that is basically using ICT, uh, one is mobile solution and even the, the movies to sensitize parents uh, to support uh, the education of their children. Nowadays you go to the village, you find a child, I mean a parent, cannot even afford buy a book for a child, yet he is, as a parent, can afford to drink a, a club, a bottle of club every, every day, okay. and, but cannot. So it's all about the attitude, people are having uh, less attitude in supporting their children's education. So we're using ICT, for example, mobile phones. You know in Uganda today, mobile phones, almost every village is, there is a mobile phone, every family has a mobile phone, so we send mobile phones. I mean messages to their mobile phones so that they can get and it, it can be, a, uh, it, we encourage them also to be a, a discussion topic every day that they are at home or they go for their beer party, they use it as a, a point of discussion. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how long has the project uh, been going? So far, so far it's now say, six months, yeah, six okay. months since January. Have you uh, noticed any changes? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we had uh, a sensitization approach before where we just go and mobilize for meetings. And you know, these meetings at times not everyone come. But through this uh, mobile solution, the SMS, uh, it is really realizing some change. We've seen parents uh, giving us results during PTA meetings and even uh, SMC meetings. And also individual interactions with parents in the community. They are saying it is really helping them. Uh, a phone at home, when, uh, for example, a parent receives a phone, uh, I mean a message, uh, he goes and discusses it with the family members. And so there is that multiplier effect. Uh, secondly, uh, since they discuss it as a family, children are, have contributed to that. It's really been a good. Uh, we see it is really something, a, a good innovation okay. and an excitement. Thank you so much, uh, Joel. Thank uh, you. It's uh, very clear. Thanks for the good work. Thank you too. All right. Yeah.